hi guys i thought i'd just do like a random little vlog for you and show you my adorable little easter decorations this is my window and my front door is like right here i have this little wreath on my front door very springtime and then in the window next to my front door we have like a little bunny rabbit with its um like basket its carrot we have some Easter eggs there. I have a little springtime sign right there and some little chickadees. And then this might be loud, but if I close this, you can kind of see in this window, which is also by my front door, there's some more like, let me open this, kind of see there's like some more little Easter eggs. Oh, I think I made it worse. Kind of in there, just some like little cute stuff. And then let me show you my uh, dining table. Okay, pardon the lighting. It's a cloudy, super windy day here. But this is my centerpiece. I usually have placemats. So I usually have six placemats, like for these chairs and then for the bench seating right there. I usually have placemats for every single one, but I decided to take them all off and just do something super clean. So if I go up close, you can see those are not real flowers because I kill everything. But we have these really beautiful like pink flowers and some greenery. That's just from the Dollar Tree. I have some um, eggs on like sticks. There's purple um, over here. There's yellow, blue, and then this is like an orangish pink and they all have glitter. The yellow... Um, picture is ceramic real ceramic and that's always on my table i have this lantern that i actually grabbed from my living room and put it over here for this like little table um situation these are also fake that is um from the 99 cent store and it was like 3.99 with the flowers inside of it and this is real ceramic i think i've shown that on this video before and then that lantern is really old. I got it at Michael's on clearance for like $12 or something. I think it was originally like 30 or something crazy. And then right here, look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like rope, it's like twine, like dyed twine with little pieces of like fake greenery in the top and they're carrots. I mean, come on. Isn't that cute? And then the carrots are over here too. And there's some on the back as well. But that's my little like table situation. And I took the, like I said, I took my placemats away because they weren't very springtime. They're good for like everyday use, but I thought the table looked so much prettier with nothing on it but that. It's pretty, right? Okay, I'll, now I'll show you my entry table. Okay, guys, I know it's weird because I moved or I turned around these two picture frames out of respect for my family. But here it like they don't want to be on, in, on on YouTube if I can help it. But this is like right in the middle of my entry table. Here's my entry table. Isn't that cute? But this is right in the middle. Um, that frame I got. I think I talked about this before I showed it on this channel. Um, but I got it for like $12.99 on Amazon. And inside the frame is a whole bunch of other images for all the holidays, like Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, springtime, and Easter, um, you know, summer, and 4th of July, and Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like all the major holidays. And there's like an image on the front and an image on the back of like eight different pieces of paper or eight different pieces of like poster, so you can change the image for every holiday. So like after Easter is over, I'll change it to spring, and then when spring is over, I'll change it to summer, and then when it's almost 4th of July, I'll change it to 4th of July. So it's really cute, it has like two little bunnies on it, really cute, came with in the frame and everything, the frame is real wood. Over here, that little bunny is from Dollar Tree, which is $1.25 now, and he has like a beanbag butt watch. Watch. Hear it? So that's what makes him stand up. And he has like funky, like crooked ears, like on purpose. Anyways, he's adorable. 
And then if along my table, you can see one twine is like a runner of eggs and then the other is kind of that same um, idea with the rope for the carrots. And I kind of just intertwine them together, like one on top of the other. So we have both going around. I can't put too much because I do have kids and they'll bump stuff and they'll ruin it. And it can't be anything I care about also because I have kids. And then over here, I just threw that in this Dollar Tree jar. The flowers are from Dollar Tree. These are the smaller eggs. The bigger ones are at the dining room table. I still need to like fluff it out more, um, which I will do. But there's like a pink one, purple, orange. And then that's just the leftover um, fake uh, greenery and flowers. Because like I said, I can't keep anything alive. So that's what it looks like all together. It's really windy outside if you hear sound in the background. Isn't that cute? And then I'll show you a couple more things. Okay, hanging on my wall right here, if I pan up, you can kind of see I have like a sh weird shelf and like there's my ceiling if I keep going. But I have um, a picture of my kids from a long time ago. They put their feet into paint. This is a really cute idea. And let me move this Easter egg. Hold on. There we go. See, the carrot is my son's foot when he was a baby. Um, and the, the rabbit is my daughter's foot when she was like three. This is really old from like 2016, I think it says up there, or maybe 2018. But yeah, you dip your kid's feet paint or you paint your, the bottom of your kid's feet and then you have them step down on a canvas and then you turn it into a carrot and a bunny rabbit and then I have this humongous egg which let me just put that back up there so we have a pink one that's my dog's ashes rest in peace to my pup and that's the blue one and then I have another frame that's backwards and that's the yellow one so it's just another cute little moment of color and i'll show you a couple more things okay in my living room my husband has speakers like big humongous speakers you can tell we're really into music because there's the record player stereo and my husband's mini amp <laughs> and his guitar is right here um and then there's our living room tv but uh this is like a little Dollar Tree project and there's one over here and then there's also another one that my daughter made right there. I might have them backwards and then even though my mom is no longer a part of our lives, this bunny rabbit, it just, you, can, you can't really tell but it's a pale, yellow, uh, pale pink color with white cheeks and then this one's like a really pale blue, it's my son's, but um when my mom and I were on speaking terms, she bought those for my kids. And I like having a piece of her um, out for my children. So that's that. There's my backyard. And then here we have Mr. Peter Rabbit himself on the bench. That's where I did the record video. And then we have this weird pillow. <laughs> it's a pillow and it's a bunny gnome look don't ask it was only like five bucks at target and i just had to have it and it's weird and it has no eyes and don't judge me okay and then over here last but not least on my coffee table i just have this little like thing that says happy spring i have another little pail like this um that says happy easter that's on my front porch and then look at these cute little carrots they're like a dyed burlap you can kind of hear it there, that's the sound. But they're like a dyed burlap, and there's three of them, and I just stuck them in there like someone had gone, you know, gardening for carrots and found some, and that's it with the rest of my stuff. I can't do too much because if it's in the way of the TV, then everyone gets mad at me. Like, you decorated, and now everything's in the way. But that's it, you guys. Now I'm going to give you part two of this video where I show you some items I bought for my kids. Okay, for part two of my little Easter video, I'm just going to show you guys a couple items that I bought for my kids. Uh, we are going to England, and we have to do Easter there. 
So we ordered some stuff online to send, to have delivered like via like UK Amazon to my father-in-law's house. And then I went ahead and I bought myself um, or bought some stuff for the kids that I can add to our suitcases that's small. I need to look for stuff that was small and not candy because we already bought candy and it's already in England waiting for us to get there. So I had to buy some stuff that would be entertaining and not candy. So the first thing I found was this. This is like a Easter play pad. It says color by number, puzzles, games, dot to dot, and mazes. You can kind of like open it up and it's just images, um, little projects, um, things that they can color. They'll be able to play with this on like the plane ride home after they receive it for Easter. Little bunny house, it says the bunnies. Just all kinds of like really, really cute, really adorable stuff. So I got that. I'm sorry if my refrigerator kicks on and I'm in my kitchen, so it might kick on and start to hum and I do apologize. But I got one for my daughter too. It's the same thing, same exact thing. Games, colored by number, puzzles and mazes and dot to dots and all kinds of stuff. So I got those two. Everything I had to get in twos. I also bought, you know, these sensory toys are very in style right now, very hip and hop or whatever. So I got these little popper things. One's for my son, and it's kind of like a square. And then this one, I don't know if that circle's supposed to be there in the middle. Oh, I see. It's popped through on that side, but that's for my daughter. Again, just something simple, quick, something that they can literally, literally fidget with um, while we're in the taxi or on the plane or just sitting at, you know, grandparents house being bored because you know that's gonna happen i also got these i thought these would be fun for like the actual hotel room these are some little squishy pals and i got this one which is pink and blue for my daughter and then uh blue and green for my son because i know he's gonna love that turtle and these um I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but they're super, super squishy and weird and kind of sticky. Um, but these ones glow in the dark. Are they going to work? I don't know. They're from Dollar Tree. It's very possible that they won't. But, sorry, I just put that package very close to my microphone. You guys might have just got a whole earful of crinkling sounds. I also got these little fidget poppers. Again, I got blue and yellow for my son. And pink and white for my daughter. If you flip them over, it's hard to see, but on the this side, there's also a place that you can press, and you just hold them in your hand and you push them, and then you can flip them over and you push it on that side. And it just gives you something to do with your hands so that you're not being a pain in the butt if you're in a situation where your kids need to be patient for a little bit longer. You just give them one of these and say play with your fidget it, it actually really works especially when you're like traveling and stuff oh let me screw that over screw it over all right i also have these two they're the exact same thing they didn't come in like quote unquote boy colors and girl colors they were just all pink but it's called a surprise blind ball for ages four and up and inside is just like a little toy, I think. I don't know if it's a squishy, but I think it might just be a toy. But look, it could be a cactus. It could be a unicorn. It could be an owl, a panda, a dino, or a frog. And you don't know which one you're going to get. So I got them each one of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five things each so far. And then I got them each. A bunny, look, isn't it cute? They're not exactly the same. This one has floppy ears and this one has one drunk ear. But they're supposed to be standing. But obviously one for my son, one for my daughter. Just something to like cuddle with and play with and 
cold, you know, traveling is hard on kids. So having something that they can like come home with and like cuddle, I thought that would be kind of cute. Plus, you know, when you put the Easter baskets together and you like stick this on top, I like just having something colorful. So this helps. And all this stuff is from Dollar Tree. So it's not like I'm spending an arm and a leg. And if something gets lost while traveling, you're not going to cry about it because it's from Dollar Tree. Just go back and get another one or don't worry about it. <laughs> And then I got new crayons because they have to have, you know, crayons to go with the, uh, with the little Easter pads here. So I thought that that would be good to give them a brand new box each so they don't have to fight. It's a dollar. Just take it. And then they have something to use instead of having to ask their grandparents, like, do you have pens? Do you have paper? Do you have eraser do you have markers like just use whoa the wind is crazy i'm sorry to interrupt but i thought this would be kind of cool for them to to do so we have the easter pads we have the crayons we have the oh, i bumped my microphone sorry guys they have the little surprise balls blind balls we have the Squishy for my son, Squishy Pals, and we have the Squishy Pals for my daughter. We have the fidget. There goes my refrigerator. I'm sorry, you guys. There's nothing I do about it. I'm almost done. <laughs> fidget and fidget. Stay still, little ball. And then we have fidget and fidget. Plus, candy is already at. Um, my father-in-law's house and then of course last but not least that so I wish that you guys could see me actually put the baskets together I don't know if that's gonna happen it's gonna be very difficult to sneak around and fill up my kids baskets and get them prepared while my kids are there while visiting at someone else's house it's not something that I could just like do while my kids are at school the way I usually would or when they're sleeping um, it's going to be very difficult and I don't think a video of making my kids Easter baskets is going to happen this year, but anyways, um, that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching this Easter themed video. If you'd like to see more from me, please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.